guys it's Sarah welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are all doing amazing thank you for tuning into today's video today here in front of me I have a ton of lifestyle and beauty loves and lows so we're going to be doing basically like the hits and misses of affordable products if you guys know me or know the channel you guys know that I love products I love trying new products I love talking about products so these are one of my favorite videos to film and I'm super excited to be talking about some really cool affordable finds so if you guys are into affordable finds if you guys are on a budget if you like me and you'd like to subscribe I would love to have you join our YouTube family you can click the subscribe button also that little bell at the bottom will give you notifications every time I upload so go ahead and click that while you're down there because YouTube sometimes likes to play us and not let us know when our favorite people have uploaded so turn it on girls so that you never miss a video. Without further ado guys I'm done rambling let's get on with the video. So getting started it's not going to be in any particular order the first thing that I wanted to talk about is my ride or die eyeshadow palette from the brand Cara or Cara, I'm not sure how you would say it. It's the ES04M35 eyeshadow palette. Wait till I open this up. Did you ever see like you in an eyeshadow palette? I feel like this is totally me in an eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love the shades that are in it and it's affordable. I think this was under $14. One of the best things I've ever gotten for myself because I honestly don't have nor do I want to spend $50 on an eyeshadow palette. Well, I kind of want to spend it. That Huda Beauty palette is looking kind of good. But I just can't justify spending that much on makeup. The colors of them, the way that it swatches on your hand is exactly the way that it comes up on your eye. You don't have to work. You don't have to try. Like, you can just put it on, blend it out, and it looks beautiful. So you guys know that I share Scentbird on my channel a lot. Since I probably started my channel, I've been getting Scentbird packages and I absolutely love receiving these little atomizers in the mail because it's an amazing deal if you're on a budget. So within the past couple of months, they've been adding in new products. They have body wash, they have hand cream, and girl, they added in candles. And if you know me, you know I love a good candle. So what they started with were these atomizers and this is this month's scent. It's Elizabeth and James, which is like the Olsen twins line this is Nirvana white which is my absolute favorite so what Scentbird started was $14.95 per month you can get two sprays per day in these really cute atomizers of name brand perfumes these are authentic high-end perfumes that you can get on a extreme discount like extreme I have not bought a huge bottle of perfume in years and I love being able to switch up my scent and it's just been amazing so slowly they're adding in these new products one of my favorite things and I know you guys are going to be like <laughs> it's just hand cream it's just hand cream but it is these hand creams from Scentbird they have white tea fig and rose prosecco if you guys saw I did a live on their um, Facebook page and I tried these and the thing is, I really don't care too much about hand cream. I'm like, hand cream is hand cream until I tried this hand cream. And it is no joke. I'm not even playing. I gave this to my girlfriend, Nella, if you're watching. Hey, boo, I love you. I was like, girl, you have to take one of these and try it because it does not leave your hands sticky. It does not leave your hands greasy. It moisturizes your hands with all, without that greasy residue. And I am obsessed. These are some of the best hand creams I've ever tried and I just like had to talk about them because they are that good. And I know I'm like one of those type of people that's like hand cream, <laughs> like so exciting it's hand cream. But I'm telling you guys, this does really good things for your hands without leaving you sticky and greasy and I hate that feeling. So if Scentbird wasn't crushing it enough, they added on these candles and I'm also going to be giving one of these away to you guys. I'm going to send it to you guys. The one that I'm going to be giving is this one siberian fir and cedar wood this is christmas in a jar so all of their candles are slow burning soy wax they're made in the usa and they smell so good so i absolutely love this i love that they're giving you it in the tin so that you can reuse them for different things on your desk and if you guys want to enter the giveaway, definitely look in the description box. For the rules, this is like my own thing. I just want to give some of this stuff to you guys because honestly, I have too much of it. So you guys will see at the end what I'm giving away. So I was able to get you guys 30% off of your
your first perfume. Normally it's 25% off, so now it's 30. If you use the code SEND30, you can get 30% off of your first perfume. I would definitely recommend trying it out, guys. It is amazing. You no longer have to buy really big, expensive bottles of perfume. You don't have to buy really cheap perfume, and it doesn't last. You can get really good perfume for $14.95 or some bomb candles or amazing hand lotion. So try it out. If you guys are already using Scentbird, let me know in the comment section. So moving right along, I want to talk about some lifestyle, maybe some more scents, some more things that I'm loving that I'm also going to be giving away to you guys. So these are probably one of the best deals that I've found in a long time. And they are from Yankee Candle. So I was in my favorite Walmart by the laundry detergent where you get the 719 Walnut Ave candles. And I saw these these are like plugins that you plug into your wall and they're from Yankee Candle. These were marked at my Walmart for a dollar. I've stocked up, I've probably bought 20 of them and I keep talking about them on Instagram so I wanted to share them with my YouTube friends. If you guys have a Walmart in your area, go and check it out. They may be marked down. I was able to get Midsummer Night. This is the starter pack and then this one is Pink Sand. This one is my absolute favorite. It smells amazing. The scent is amazing. The other one that I was able to get is Sun and Sand, and this is the two-pack refill. But they smell so good. They smell so strong. I put one in the kids' room because the kids are always, like, back there, and it smells amazing when you walk in. So I want to talk about a mist, and this is, I was really surprised because I saw Jackie Ina talking about this foundation. This is the Maybelline 24-hour foundation, and I have it in 220, which is natural beige. Normally, I love Maybelline, and when I saw Jackie talking about it, I was like, girl, I'm going to love this foundation, and I didn't. Like, can something be too full coverage? It looked like almost like a mask on my face. And I used it for pictures and I also used it for like filming a video. And I looked really good in the video. But when you saw me in real life, I looked like the ultimate cake face. I looked like I was like so wrinkly. It like literally clung and sunk into every single wrinkle. It ended up getting super shiny. So I definitely don't think that it was 24 hours. So moving along to another love that I'm going to be giving away to you guys are some products from the brand Juno. So they sent me the e email saying, can we send you some of our stuff? And I was like, sure. I like, I love to try new beauty blenders. This is the furry beauty blender. And this is supposed to be like a new concept, less waste. Um, it's a, called their Juno Fusion Sponge. I'm going to keep it in the package because I'm going to send one to you guys. It is so much harder and like more dense than a beauty blender. I feel like it definitely does the job. If you're looking, if you're using like one of these full coverage foundations, it works really nicely. The one thing that I do really enjoy about it is like this little, it's almost like a flat, like completely flat tip and it's really good for under the eyes. I really like the shape of it and the concept of it. I don't think that it outdoes the Beauty Blender, but I also don't think it's terrible. But you guys can try it if you win the giveaway and you can let me know what you think. One thing that I do really love and enjoy from them are their brushes. Their brushes are amazing quality. It has to be my favorite one from Juno & Co. It's their ES03 brush. They also have a fan brush. This is what it looks like clean. It's just, these are dirty. These are called dirty clean. Ooh, wash your brushes, girl. No. Yeah, the quality of them is just really good. They're really soft. They're kind of like more on the dense side. You know, they're not like light and fluffy brushes. They do really well for like, if you have too much blush on, you can like wipe it away. Um, I enjoy this contouring brush. I just enjoy their brushes. I feel like their brushes are really good quality. It's something that I keep reaching for. And that's how I know I really like something. If I reach for it often where I just go for it and I'm not even thinking about it, these brushes are definitely one of those things. So you guys know when you're trying to get your life right, eating right is always one of those things. So I have been loving these cold pressed juices. I first got one from Aldi's or Aldi's, whatever you call it, but I found this one. It's called, I believe, Juice by Julie. And this one was at Walmart. It was only $2.24, which is a good deal for these juices because they can be pretty expensive. So in here, this is called their Extreme Greens Blended Smoothie Spinach, Orange, Pineapple, Lemon, and Hemp Seeds. 
So all of those things are in this in this juice and then it's cold pressed, which means it's never heated. It's like they use this cold process to get the juice out. These are so good in the morning if you don't feel like eating breakfast, if you're not really hungry, but you know you need like that extra nutritional value. Anytime I eat like spinach or kale, I feel like it gives me like a good boost of energy. So I have been obsessed with juices like this, and this one is available at Walmart. I think they have like a whole juice cleanse I saw, which is like a three-day cleanse, and I would be really interested in trying that and maybe like documenting my process, but I'll have to see how much it is. I think it's probably like $90 for the thing, so we'll have to see. If you guys would want to see that, let me know, but I've definitely been loved. These are not like, drink it with a straw, girl. If you're going to be drinking these and you're not like as healthy as some people, like I like soda, you know what I'm saying? So green juice is kind of like a shock to my taste buds. What I do is I just try to like gulp it down um, with a straw and it does kind of work. So let's talk about more scents cause I am obsessed, I'm obsessed. Okay, so I wanna talk about this Caldrea. This is called Aromatherapeutic Home Keep Keeping Sea Salt Neroli. This is all purpose cleaner. They also have um, a counter spray. This is a bougie brand. This brand is bougie. And if you guys are like frugal like me and you didn't know that there's a world of like bougie cleaners, candles, laundry detergent, it's a thing. I didn't even know it was a thing, but it's a thing. And this is a part of it. This stuff smells so good. So what I've been doing is like to clean my countertops. Um, this bottle is pretty expensive, but what you can do, it's more concentrated than the regular spray. I've been mixing this with water to make it go longer, and I just put it in like a different spray bottle. You spray your counters, and it smells so amazing. So if you don't want to go all the way to left field of expensive cleaning products, Mrs. Myers is one product that I absolutely love and I stand by, and I got a whole order from Grove Collaborative because I saw everybody, literally everybody and their mother talking about Grove, so I was like, I need to see what's going on with Grove. So I did place an order and I'll probably talk about them super soon because I got a bunch of stuff that I wanted to share. So what I got from them were was this dish soap from Mrs. Myers, this hand soap. This is in the scent lavender and I also have the multi-purpose Sprite in lavender and it smells amazing. But my favorite Mrs. Myers scent has to be the honeysuckle. It smells so good. You can get this from Grove Collaborative or you can get it from somewhere like Target. You can even order it online probably for even cheaper. But on Grove, when you order through them, they give you like a discounted rate. So it makes it like $3, $3.34 I think for this cleaner. Hey you guys, while I was editing this video, I found that Grove Collaborative also has this free deal out. If you spend at least $20, they're giving you three of the Mrs. Myers product for free. Use the link that I have in the description box to go and check it out for yourself. I absolutely 110% stand behind the Mrs. Myers products. I absolutely love them. The best thing is it's all natural. So it says it's made from plant-derived ingredients, natural essential oils, birch bark extract okay so let's move along to another love and this one is in the makeup section i shared these eyebrow pencils in my like trying testing the shop miss a products and this is from i think it's from amuse cosmetics it's a dollar it's one dollar everybody asks me what do i use in my brows and it's this i've been mixing the black and the brown together and it works so good. I went out and I splurged for the Anastasia Beverly Hills The Definer Brow, which is almost identical to this, and I found myself reaching for this one more. Something that I did not like, a total miss for me, was this. Um, this is powder from Shop Miss A, and it's from the brand AOA, and it's their translucent translucent powder and I did not realize until somebody left a comment telling me that there is glitter in this setting powder I was you I, I don't why 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 would you put glitter in setting powder this setting powder after I realized that it had glitter on in it I was like no it did not really do too much it did kind of work but then it would leave like little specks of like like flecks of glitter not like shimmer but just like specks of glitter like where you're trying to set and I would set right here I don't understand what the purpose of glitter in a setting powder is like legitimate glitter there was no flashback when I did set with it it just was not as good I love the elf like the loose translucent setting powder I think that that is amazing so I definitely will be sticking with my elf because 
what do you need? Like, see, now I have glitter on my hand. What do you need glitter? Like, what do you guys know the purpose of glitter in setting powder? Because to me, it just seems bizarre. So you guys, those were all of the beauty and lifestyle hits and misses. Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the products that I shared? Do you love any? Do you hate any? Also, I want you guys to head on over to Scentbird, check out their perfumes, check out their new candles, check out the body wash and the hand cream. If you guys want to try it for yourself, you can save 30% by using the code that I have down below and also signing up with that link. The code is SEND30. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching till the end. If you're here, girl, I appreciate you so much. I love you guys more than you'll ever know, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, guys.